Thanks for joining me. We are back for another day of learning about addition stories. Remember, addition stories help us answer the question, how many, when we're putting things together. Now, you know that I love addition stories. And one of my favorite things about addition stories is that we can use pictures and drawings to help us understand what's going on in our story. Take a look at this picture. What do you notice? Wow, those are awesome noticings. Now, go ahead and listen to my story as I tell you about what's going on in the picture to help us answer the question, how many? One book is lying on the couch. Two books are being read. All right. Now, before we answer our how many question, what do we need to know about our addition story? Right, we need to know what happened first. What did I say first? Right, there was one book on the couch. Then what did I say? Right, there are two books being read. So how are we going to put that into a number sentence? Right, I need to write down that there is one book and two books. One plus two. One plus two. Now, are we done? No, that's right, we still haven't answered how many. So I know there's one here, and I know there's two here. Now I wanna box them all together. How many books are in my box? Three. One plus two equals three. And we can check that by counting the books in the drawing. One, two, three. Hey, we were right. That's one of the reasons that I love using drawings in addition stories. All right, let's say goodbye to this addition story. Goodbye. And let's check out our next edition story. What do you notice in this picture? Wonderful. All right, listen to my edition story as I tell you what I noticed. In the classroom, there are three copies of Chicka Chicka Boom. There are two copies of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. All right, so we have our information. Now it's time to figure out how we're going to write our equation. We need to figure out what happened first in the story. First, I said that there are three copies of Chicka Chicka Boom. Then I said that there are two copies of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I am boxing these to know what numbers I need to write down. Since there are three copies of Chicka Chicka Boom, I'm going to write three. Then I'm going to add to that the two copies of Very Hungry Caterpillar plus two. Are we done? No, we haven't answered how many. So let's listen to our full addition story again. In the classroom, there are three copies of Chicka Chicka Boom. There are two copies of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. How many books are there all together? We already have most of our sentence. 
3 plus 2, but we need to know what it is together. So I'm going to draw a box around all of my books to show me that now I need to figure out how many there are in all. Now one way I can do this is by using my equation. I know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. But I always want to double check to make sure my answer makes sense. 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, that makes sense. 2, 1, 2, okay, that makes sense. How, how many all together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hey, we got it right. Our full number sentence is 3 plus 2 equals 5. And that equation or number sentence helps us figure out what's going on in this picture. Wow, so cool. All right, friends, now it's going to be your turn to be a mathematician and an artist. Head on over to Seesaw and listen to my number stories. Then you're gonna get to draw a picture that tells you exactly what's going on in those number stories. Have fun, you guys, and I can't wait to see all your hard work. Bye!